So welcome back everyone, my name is Echo and I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. In today's Minecraft video, we're back on Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version for a brand new beta. This is the beta version 1.18.0.27. It is available for Android, Windows 10 and Xbox. Here is the confirmation from Megaspud, Community Manager. Happy Thursday, we have a new Bedrock Beta rolling out today. Check out the change log for 1.18.0.27 Beta. If you want the link, it is down below. But also, today is a very good day for the Minecraft community, because as you can see, Minecraft Java Edition is no longer in snapshot stages. We're now in pre-release. So ladies and gentlemen, we're definitely in the end game now. 1.18 should be releasing over the next four to five weeks. It's a good day for the Minecraft community. It just says Minecraft 1.18 pre-release one, a Minecraft Java pre-release. The first 1.18 pre-release is here. From now on, you should mostly see bugs being fixed. In addition to that, Pre-releases don't follow the regular snapshot uh, cadence of releasing on Wednesdays, so keep an eye out. That being said, this pre-release introduces biome blending, which means that you should no longer find harsh borders between new and old terrain. On top of that, we've also reintroduced the amplified and large biome world types. Happy mining. So yeah, it's a good day. Now in this beta, we only have a handful of changes, but don't be complaining because this is actually really, really good. A small beta means that we're, we're coming to the end of the 1.18 beta stages. But that also being said though, like Minecraft Java is getting these cool custom world types like Amplified. When is this stuff eventually gonna come to the Bedrock version? Because as an old school Minecraft console edition player, we did have Amplified in that version of Minecraft. It's not in this one. The developers also made a mistake. You can see we're in beta 1.18.027. Welcome to the 1.18.025 beta. Now, again, the changes are here. Feel free to uh, pause the screen if you want to read it for yourself. But there's a couple more changes. So let's go to game and let's go over them. Check this guy out. Just living his best life inside a dirt block. So like I mentioned, only a handful of changes and this is typically what you can expect going forward until 1.18 is released. The first one we have here is optimized chunk generation on some devices. So this is to do with when you are loading new chunks, whether you're running, whether you're flying, or whether you're using the Elytra. Obviously sometimes chunks don't load properly. This is highly likely to be for older devices. Um, so if you're on an older platform and you're currently in beta, um, load up your world and see if your chunks are loading a lot better. I also noticed in this week's beta, if I go to my video settings, I'm actually able to bump my render distance to 90, 90, 96 chunks if I wanted to. The next change added a new world upgrade animation to the world. And just to show you what they mean by this is obviously any older world that was created before 1.18, when you tap on it, it pops up with this uh, world update. This update makes your world higher and deeper. It adds more blocks and caves under your current world. So there's more to explore underground and you can see how below now loads in. It now loads in with uh, lush caves, dripstone, uh, biomes with uh, axolotls and things like that. Just the cool, simple animation that has been added. And again, this is still here, which again, don't un uncheck this if you're testing and betas, uh, makes a backup copy of my world. And then you've got update and play. And I do have a uh, update bug for this too. But the next change is fixed block actors not working properly below Y equals zero when upgrading a world to caves and cliffs part two. And we've got a bug report for this. So the bug sounded fancier than what it actually is. It says spawner generates with no mob inside and does not spawn anything. So this kind of reminds me of the old school console edition bug where every spawner would change or be a pig. It just says here, 
Steps to reproduce, create a world with caves and cliffs experiment with this seed, go to this location, save and quit, enable caves and cliffs and world settings, and go to this specific location. Now, I don't have a video here, unfortunately it's not a video, but basically the spawner had nothing inside of it. So as you know, a Minecraft, a default spawner looks like this. There's no mob inside of it. Obviously your mob spawners are, please, please move cow, okay, how rude. Uh, your spawners are meant to look like this. Again, if it had a zombie, uh, if it was a zombie one, it would look like this. Uh, what was happening is they would literally look like this. The next change, backup copies of worlds no longer have the caves and cliffs experimental toggle enabled. So going back to the main menu, again, if we were to obviously update and play, we have make a copy of my, uh, make a backup copy of my world. By default, it's ticked. When it makes this backup copy previously, it still enabled the caves and cliffs uh, features, which not everybody wanted. So basically now what happens is when it makes a backup of your world that has no caves and cliffs enabled. And then it's up to you again if you want to enable uh, the caves and cliffs features, which is a good change this week. Fixed the new storage location prompt occurring daily on some Android devices. We do have a bug report. So some Android players were reporting this issue, which is we need to move your files to a different location on your device. It was popping up constantly, um, regardless if you did it or not, it was just a bug. And according to this week's beta, uh, it's now been fixed. So for people having those issues, it should be resolved. And the last one today, fixed blocks like water and lava, sometimes generating mid air in specific worlds updated from older versions. Let me show you this. So this was actually an issue for a good few betas. Some existing chunks got broken with flying water, lava, leaves, etc. Check this out. Like it would just cut things up completely. He lost trees or trees started floating. Even more trees started floating. Even more. And then water. I feel like this is a, a, a griefed server or realm and people start placing water everywhere or lava so yeah uh these strange bugs were happening for quite some time if you experienced this go and see if it's still happening it should be fixed this week yep the sheep is still loving life i'm gonna leave him to do what he needs to do but like i said uh small beta but i'm here whether it's a small beta or a big beta to keep you all updated very very soon the video you're all waiting for will be made and that is that 1.18 We'll be releasing very, very soon for iOS, Android, Windows 10, Xbox, Switch, and PlayStation. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.